I remember the first time I saw or heard of Vine, this girl in my bio class was like taking six second videos running around and I was like, what in the world is she doing? And I was like, Holly, what is that? And she's like, it's Vine, you haven't heard of it. And I didn't think much of it and then I went and downloaded it the next day and for about a year I kind of just used it for fun and just to see what other people were posting and then eventually I decided to post a six second snippet of me singing and that kind of was the first step in me realizing, oh wait, maybe I can use this for something more than just when I'm bored. I believe that the first song I sang on Vine was Just Hold On, We're Going Home by Drake. And I remember I had like 30 followers that were all like my school friends. And then the next day I woke up and I had a thousand and I was freaking out. Like I was literally going insane. And I remember being like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing on here from now on. And the first cover that I did that got me a lot of attention was a song actually by, I don't know how to say their name, but like Ray Swamurd, the guys that do Black Beatles, but it was their song, No Flex Zone. And um, yeah, I, I made a little beat to it and caught six seconds of it and I remember that one was like, got a lot of comments and yeah. So I think it was about two years ago, I was watching a TV show called Once Upon a Time and that's where it all started and the season that I was watching was all about Peter Pan. I had been getting into the groove of making up these six second covers and so I was kind of just singing a bunch of different lines and one of the lines that I sang was, I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan. I caught it on my phone and I kept it just in my saved vines for like a week and I was going to delete it a week later but I was like, you know, this is kind of catchy. So I posted it and that was kind of the very beginning of Lost Boy and then all the comments were people telling me we want to hear more and that's why for a week I would just add a new line every day. Eventually I had a chorus and that's kind of when I was like, I should probably write this. When people reacted to it, I knew they were reacting to something that I had made versus something I was just singing. and. Um, that really got me to, I think, fall in love with writing my own music. It was nice to see that shift from like just a viner to a songwriter as well. And it was really cool to see people finding meaning in my words. Like that was the biggest thing for me above anything was anytime I would read a comment that was like, wow, I get this or this song makes sense to me. Like that was the most insane, incredible thing to me. And it still is. Songwriting for me has become a really unique thing. In the beginning when I first started writing it would kind of be like come up with a line or come up with a title and write around that but now it's kind of whatever inspiration hits me. I could be walking down the street and see a look on someone's face and that could spark an idea or something I actually go through, a conversation I have with my friends. And I think Vine really impacted me in terms of just being creative because uh, when you use Vine you only had six seconds so you wanted it to be as great as possible. So I think I try to infuse that mentality in my writing now. I want every line to be as impactful and as meaningful and I don't ever want to write something just to write it. Like I want every single line that I sing to mean something to someone.